First, choose a video that you would like to apply effects to. Place the playback marker over the object to that the right image is displayed in the project monitor. Brightness and contrast are basic functions for optimizing exposure. The Auto Exposure function can also be used to perform the optimization automatically. Compare the material with the applied effect to the unedited original in the source monitor. To reset the effects, use the double arrow button. In the Color section, you'll find a color wheel that can be used to color the image and special tools for removing the red eye effect and adjusting the white balance. The double arrow button can also be used here to reset the effects. To correct individual colors in the image or to add distortion, select the Color Correction option. Simply click on specific colors to select them for editing. The selected color range now appears on a gray background. It can now be edited directly or the other way around for editing the rest of the image. Other effects allow you to distort the colors, slow and fast motion, or professional image stabilization. The same rule always applies. Select an object in the track and apply an effect from the media pool. Chroma key means mixing two videos together while making a specific color in the foreground transparent. This allows the background video to show through in the transparent areas. Position two videos above one another on two tracks. The background video must be positioned on the track above the foreground. Now, you can apply the chroma key effect to the foreground video. In the effects dialog, select the color that should become transparent. Both videos are mixed together during playback.